Hello, my name is Marted, and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm gonna do an unboxing video of the new Prusa i3 Mark III printer I received today. And I'm gonna show you what's in the box after the intro. So let's have a look. So the box comes in. Uh, the same box as the Mark II printer. They've got the Mark III sticker on the box. Uh, the printer is the same size uh, as the Mark II, so um, they don't have to redesign the packaging. But uh, it's a nice box from from, from Prusa. Um, I'm gonna have a look inside. So this box didn't came with a handle uh, Mark II was having. They skipped that. That was giving me trouble opening the Mark II box. So the handle is it's, it's good thing. It's no more. <laughs> so here's some packaging. My cats are gonna have a fit. Uh, my invoice. Uh, the, the test sheet uh, with the uh, information about the heating elements and uh, all the pre-checks they do for each item. Uh, here's the uh, assembly uh, instructions. It's a very thick, good size manual. And has very big and good pictures of everything. It's one of the best instruction manual in the industry, I think. I haven't seen any all printers uh, on YouTube having a manual of any caliber like this. So this is uh, very good. Uh, and they have a note saying congratulations on getting a brand new Prusa i3 Mark II III. Uh, and uh, there's a packaging checklist of everything uh, that uh, went into the into the box, so they make sure that everything is is is, is there, and even the jelly delight, the candy, <laughs> is <laughs> as a checkbox, so that's good. Uh, then they have the 3D printing handbook. Uh, with uh, all kind of information about troubleshooting and, uh, and uh, general information about uh, the menu and the printer and uh, everything you need to know to, to get started with the printer. Uh, here's the my plates uh, uh, and uh, the extrusion for x axis. Power supply. Now they have a 24 volt power supply. And, uh, this is the, the wire for sensing the power outputs that is sent to the control board. And those are the power, power bars uh, to the control board. And this is uh, addition to the Mark from the Mark II, uh, the sensing of, of the power outputs. So. That's one of the new features, and it's a uh, nice power supply. It has uh, it has more vents than the old power supply from the Mark II, so that's a different power supply. Uh, it doesn't say the the maker of it, but that's probably some quality power supply. I would guess. Then we have the. Haribo, Haribo Dinos, those are going to be eaten very quickly. Uh, we have a power cable uh, for European plug. Uh, and we have a cat. Um, this one, this box has uh, 
all kind of uh, fasteners on the hardware. Uh, gonna have a look at, at that later. Uh, then we have a filament, the Prusa uh, silver filament, the, the classic filament they sent with all, all the printers. Uh, another box. Uh, this has uh, the printed parts, and we're gonna have a look later. Uh, and we have the built plate and the country, uh, the y axis, uh, and we have the, the motor kit, and uh, finally the, the rod, smooth rods. Now there are uh, no threaded rods to assemble the Y credits, so it's uh, a good change to change over to the extrusions. Uh, but that's all that's inside this box. So now we can have a look at what's inside the other boxes. Now the rods are here and the plastic wraps for the cables. And that's all, all good here. Uh, those are the X plates, the back and forth plates uh, that come in front of the extrusions. And here are the extrusions. Um, the uh, I guess twenty by twenty uh, extrusions. No, thirty by thirty. Thirty by thirty extrusions. The same, so the extrusions are, are nice. Uh, I think uh, one of the most time consuming part of the MK2 printer was assembling the white lights with the threaded rods. So, this is a good, good upgrade and much uh, stiffer frame design. So, this is one of the good, good upgrades on the printer. Uh, the motor kit, it's the same uh, as the uh, motors, each motor uh, with the integrated lead uh, screws, so it's no, there's no coupling uh, like on some clone printers, so this is uh, a very good design. This box uh, is, a, is a build plate uh, and uh, the heated bed, uh, the X carriage, the Y carriage, sorry, and the, and the gantry. So that's all here. Uh, and this uh, build plate is a steel sheet. Uh, with a PI sticker uh, on it. Uh, the PI powder coated plates were not uh, ready for production at the time I got this printer. Uh, they had some uh, issues with the uh, first shipment. And I think in late January they're gonna sell the sheets uh, with a discount to previous owners of the MQ3. So uh, I think for not so much money, so I'm going to use this and probably order a power coded sheet at some time. Uh, so that's in this box. And here are the, the printed parts. Uh, 
This is basically all the all the printed parts uh, that are needed to assemble the printer and the new uh, spool holder. That's here. It's a new design. I didn't really like the old one, but uh, I didn't use it because I put the printer in the enclosure, so I didn't mind mind the other one, but it, it was uh, cumbersome to put the spools on it. Uh, then this box uh, is all the hardware, the bolts on, on that, the LCD screen, uh, zip ties, uh, uh, the electronics, um, USB cable, uh, glue stick, uh, some tools, uh, screwdrivers and uh, pliers and some hex keys. Um, the bearings, so every everything else, the uh, alcohol part and the needle to clean the nozzle, uh, and the filament guide uh, thing for the cable guide. That's here. Um, here's the hot end, the Noctua fan, and the hot cooling fan, and the new Pinda probe. It's a Pinda version 2 that has a heat sensor inside. So that's a great. Uh, there's also the filament sensor uh, part that uh, detects the filament uh, going in and if the filament is, is stuck or runs out of filament it detects that and, and stops the print. So, so that, is, that is here. So this is the electronics um, the or original uh, e3 d uh, version 6 hot end that's included here uh, so that i believe is everything i got in the in the box i'm gonna uh, start the assembly um, i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it today or, or tomorrow but uh, I'll make a series of videos uh, for each step of the assembly. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one when I start the assembly. So thanks for watching.